welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylee. In this video, we are going to reflect back on 2023 and set goals for 2024 vision board, write out goals and plans, and actually make a planner, content, and personal, all of the above. And let's just get started on the video. I have my two notebooks right here with all the things you need to know for 2024 and reflecting back on 2023. Before we get into like the planning for 2024, I'm gonna tell you guys my reflections on 2023. If you want to skip this part, I will have a timestamp down below and you can skip to the 2024 part. These reflections you can do as well. I will have the prompts popped up on the screen when I say it. The first one is 2023 was the year I. So write down everything that you did. For me, I'll just read like the first paragraph. I put, I became a businesswoman by cleaning houses. I only did it for a couple of months. I'm proud of myself. I'm not gonna go too much in detail of everything because I don't want this to be a super long video for you guys. The next prompt would be your top three favorite memories. I think this is a good one because you can always look back and be like, oh my gosh, that was my favorite memory. This was my favorite memory too. It's always good to look back on the good memories. I put a Mod Sun concert, Rocky's game, and going to see family. And that was all within like the first five months of this year. Life happens. And those are my top three favorites. That's pretty much all I did for last year, this year too. The next one, a really good prompt and the next two go together. What gave me energy and what drained my energy? For what gave me energy, I put, I actually enjoyed what I was doing for work, which is very rare nowadays because so many people work a nine to five or they're just so miserable living the life they live. And just this past year, even though I've had maybe three to four or five jobs, I've actually really enjoyed everything I was doing. It wasn't like, oh my God, I don't want to work. I wasn't miserable. I actually liked it enough to want to keep going. I didn't love it, but I liked it enough. Now, what drained my energy? I wrote down lying and trying to be someone I'm not. The reason I put that is because I was living in my car for the longest time, probably a total of a year. I moved into this room, uh, I think end of September. A year before that, I was living in my car and since I didn't want people knowing I was living in my car because of like judgment and other things and like work, personal reasons too, I would always lie and act like someone else that was like living in a house or I didn't like it because it was kind of draining my energy and once I started to really tell the truth I realized yeah there are gonna be people that judge but also there's gonna be people that don't really care they're not gonna care and if they do care I mean they're gonna help you out so that took the longest time for me to realize and I can definitely go more in depth on that if you guys want to hear about that, like how to get over judgment and all the bad stuff when living in a car because I lived in my car probably a total of like two years, but on and off. Next thing is, the next prompt is, one thing I'm leaving in 2023 is, for me, it's my selfishness. There are times I can be selfish, but also if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. I'll be like, sorry, I don't want to do it. It's as simple as that because you don't have to do something if you don't want to. And that goes for personal and work. So I'm not going to have someone force me to do something, whether you're my boss or not. Like, I don't care, but I am going to try and kind of dim it down a bit. Next prompt is the grand lesson of 2023. I put, again, something I learned just recently because like living in my car and everything is you do not need validation in others as well as attention. We think we do. I mean, it is our nature to want to hang out with others and 
be around others, but at the end of the day, you have yourself. Attention comes and goes. Once you really learn that attention and validation comes and goes, your life will be much better off because sure like you want your boyfriend or mom or dad to say oh my gosh your outfit looks amazing you look great i'm so proud of you but at the same time that's rarely gonna happen so do it for yourself validate and give yourself attention because like i said at the end of the day you have yourself and last prompt is how can i change my environment to better reflect where i'm going instead of where i've been I think this is also a really good one because you really have to think about it. For a second, I didn't necessarily know what that question meant until I read it again and really thought about it. So like your environment is like your house, your car, uh, friends and family. So it says, I'm gonna read that again. How can I ch change my environment to better reflect where I'm going instead of where I've been? I wrote down, make sure I keep on top of things. That is very bland. You want to be so specific. I rethought about that. And so I said, make sure place is always clean and make sure car is always clean as I'll be delivering for my job. And if you have friends that you want to kind of stay away from, write that down. If I mean, family too, it can be anything. Now, on to planning for 2024, how you can make 2024 your best year yet. Because let's actually do our goals and plan. Because I feel like every year we always plan something and then we might do one or two goals, but then don't do anything else. Life can get hectic. Very understandable. If we settle down, write out, a calendar and vision board and actually make a vision board too that will definitely help us and let's make this year the year that we grow and do our shit therefore i tell you do not be anxious about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you'll put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing i need to find this quote in the bible i don't exactly know where it's at in the bible but i heard that and i'm like we always worry and stress about what we're gonna wear what we're gonna eat what we're gonna do about money i'm living paycheck to paycheck but i'm tired of that aren't you don't you just want to live like stop worrying about that just do your job and if you know that you can't afford rent before you have to pay do more work on the side where you can make money so you can pay rent because i know that's what i'm gonna have to do this coming next two weeks anyway now on to my plan for 2024. I didn't write too many down because I don't really have a clear vision of what I want to do, but like I do, if that makes any sense. So what I wrote down is get back to my original weight of 125 slash 130. I gained weight and I wanna just get back into shape and lose a little bit of weight. The next thing is become semi-fluent in Spanish. I had started learning Spanish and I actually have um, like books that I can learn from. And I know one of my videos for 2024 is gonna be only speaking Spanish for 24 hours. So look forward to that. Uh, my next plan goal would be be more of my creative self. Reach 4K watch hours on YouTube. By the way, I'm halfway there. I'm at 2000 watch hours. So I'm so excited. I, I'm not doing YouTube for the money, but the fact that I've been growing the past month, two months, is just crazy and I love it. It motivates me to want to create more and put out more content for you guys. I just, I love that I'm growing because for so long I never saw any growth. Like no one ever watched my videos, no one liked them. 
but now people are actually watching my videos and liking them so I'm really happy about that the next one is have 1k in savings by end of year so I mean it could be this time next year my goals have a thousand dollars at least in savings now instead of just writing those basic goals down you want to also write down what can you do specifically to reach that goal so this is what i put the first one uh drink water six to eight glasses a day and then also like two 15 minute workouts like intense workouts every day the next one so become semi-fluent in spanish i put one hour session every day um be more creative self learn how to film and edit better and make three to four pieces of clothing like knitting or crocheting i put clothing but i mean just three to four pieces of anything because i did get back into crocheting so my goal for that would be to just create three to four pieces and then like I said for YouTube learn how to film and edit better and I really want to do at least two like cinematic videos but I would not post that on my main account I would post it on my other YouTube account <sighs> next one would be post two videos a week so reach 4k watch hours on YouTube I can post two times a week I don't know exactly what days yet I haven't looked at that but I will let you guys know. And, oh, I forgot down here, I put study and take ACT, SAT test. I, I put that down because I never took those tests in high school. And if I ever did wanna go to college, it would be for film production. But to even get in college, you have to take that test. So I'm thinking about taking the test. So then that way, if I ever did wanna go to college, I could. And then also become a pro at ukulele. I have a ukulele and I used to play music like violin, guitar, even the ukulele, but I haven't really done that at all this year. And I want to, I wanna get into it and just learn and have fun. That could be just like a fun hobby of mine this year. And I wrote a to-do list already for January. I put have $100 or more saved, be down five pounds or more, reach 2100 watch hours, set up slash put on calendar when I can take ACT, and then read two books, Diary of Wimpy Kid and Sherlock Holmes. Cause I have like a lot of books like right down here. And yeah, so the be down five pounds or more, I can write down workout every day, drink more water, um, have a hundred dollars or more. I can be like, okay, save 50, save 50 paycheck. And then the next paycheck. Now onto this notebook. Okay, so this section of the video is gonna be how to achieve your goals and habits. So for habit, what exactly is a habit? A habit is settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. So for example, me and my partner stayed together out of habit. That's just an example. So for habits, sorry, my leg is like going numb. I have to like change positions. So for a good habit, pair an action you want to do with an action you need to do. So for me, uh, say brushing my teeth, I need to work better on that. I could, let's see, an action I want to do, like fix cereal, because like that's just consciously in our brain to fix breakfast. So when I'm like fixing breakfast, be like, oh, you know, brush my teeth. Something I wanna do, something I need to do. And then also make it obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying. Uh, this goes more in de detail in Atomic Habits. That's where I got these tips from. So if you haven't read that book yet, go read it. I know I'm gonna have to reread it and really work on things. The next one would be like bad habits, like how to get 
rid of your bad habits, it would be remove the cues of your bad habits from your environment. Simple. Oh, I forgot to write down the like four laws. And then how to achieve your goals. Um, one way would be instead of saying, I have to clean my room, I have to go to work, I have to take a shower, say, I get to take a shower, I get to go to work, I get to clean my room, to have a positive reinforcement. And then achieving, like saving money, because I'm really bad at that, I'm really bad at saving money. Living below your current means increases your future means. And obviously I can go more in detail on how to achieve your goals and how to work on your good habits and get rid of your bad habits, but that will be a later video. So look forward to that. And I think that is pretty much it for reflecting back on 2023 and working on 2024. I'm super excited and I'm excited just to see where everything goes and what happens and how I grow as a person and how I grow on YouTube. And also not only that, but we can become friends and talk, become a community and work on things together. That is my goal too. It's like, if I can help you guys or just anyone that I uh, come across in my life, I would love to help others. That it's always been my goal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.